Hey Aquarius, what Aquarius, here's the moon. We are keeping now. What is up? What is up? This is your January 31st through February 6th. Hello, I am Aquarius today. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. My name is Svetlana. Welcome. If you are new, this is a wonderful reading to join us. Uh, if you're returning, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for co-creating with me and the universe. I'm not going to flip this table, but I might flip this table. Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Um, what's my name? <laughs> What do we do here? We laugh, we shenan, but most importantly, we elevate, we expand our consciousness, and we heal. Four of cups. I've never been satisfied. Okay, we'll, we'll see what that's about. Two of wands, beautiful. Uh, for personal readings, everything is down below in the description box. This is for my gorgeous sun, moon, rising, and Venus. But like I always say, do not put yourself just in your sun box. Especially if you're a Aquarius moon here. That's the first card. Uh, check out your other placements. You never know what you might resonate with. Uh, take what resonates. Literally throw away what doesn't. We are here to shed some light on situations. So speaking of, let's shed some light on this moon. Wowie, 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 wowie. Five of cups here. Queen of swords. Nine of pentacles. You got a cross, uh, crossroads here, Aquarius. A lot of you are still looking at the past, which is taking up a lot of your uh, energy here. You have two of cups, remember, in this uh, on the table already. So this is the time when you go within the moon and you recognize that this two of cups is your uh, higher self, right? And we are going to have to cut out no, uh, what no longer serves us on our path here. This is you, Aquarius. This is you taking this sword. This is your knowledge. This is your wisdom. This is everything that has brought you here thus far on this journey. Because remember, you have you have the moon. That's a crossroads. And bottom of the deck, you have two of wands. That's choosing where do you want to go next you're you're looking you're at the nine of pentacles your next card is ten of pentacles so you're here miss mr miss independent but like during the nighttime or you know when the moon is out you could find yourself going back to looking at the three of cups that could have should have would have so um see what needs to be addressed see where you need to cut off uh either old memories right old emotions that are pulling you back there or address them better yet address them let's see coming up as the ten of pentacles this could also be a decision whether or not to go back to the past or keep on uh going forward we have strength, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Eight of Wands and King of... Wow, 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 wow. There's going to be some heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. We have a counterpart here underneath Eight of Wands, and that's communication. Not only that, this is... You know how you're sitting? I said you're sitting here at Nine of... Um, nine of pentacles your next card is ten of pentacles and someone's coming in here to add this wanting let's say wanting to add this pentacle and make a ten of pentacles ten of pentacles could be anything it doesn't necessarily have to be money right that's a whatever you want to manifest that's your top tier abundance like a home or business whatever this might be for you but it's taking them a lot of strength here it's taking a lot of strength here and they're coming towards you. Um, this is beautiful though, because you're also queen of pentacles and queen. So you're grounded and you're wise, like you're using your intellect. This is beautiful. Could be done with an earth sign, yeah. Wow, let's see this ace of cups. Oh, gorgeous reading, okay. King of swords. <laughs> we have queen and could be dealing with another Aquarius Gemini Libra here. 
death someone you had an ending with knight of wands yeah they're coming back in this is after silence can because queen and king of swords both have their swords up but now someone's saying all right that's enough of that let's uh let's talk love <laughs> let's talk love this could be an apology so the king of swords is opening up we have the cup of uh love and they're coming towards you um passionately leo sagittarius here as well as aries after an ending she mercury retrograde let's go whose technology tell me down below whose speech and technology has been in the gutter recently thanks to uh mercury retrograde i'll go first <laughs> uh let's do two of cups the hermit virgo Ooh, ace of cups twice after a tower yeah look look at this whatever perspired between you because i mean we have death and we have the tower this was a rebirth renewal for both of you and uh honest talk honest talk both of your hearts uh have been open due to self-love self-care that you put into yourself after whatever perspired you have two cups that are now overflowing which means what which means now both of you are aligned both of you are uh, aligning with one another wow that's beautiful and uh if your cup is not overflowing then uh aquarius we are going within we honestly you don't have to go within just during a breakup after a breakup this is con consistency is key here consistency effort patience within yourself spiritual work like daily a little bit daily goes a long way a little meditation a little um a little putting space right between your thoughts putting space between your actions and being in the now being more grounded being more aware it i mean the benefits are endless but this is beautiful the fact that you saw this tower and you took the lessons you took the growth instead of doing why me right and everyone's on a different journey and i see someone at five of cups cross watcher aquarius whoever that is but you are slowly but surely coming into that wait this two of cups is my alignment i might not control this tower but i definitely can uh have spiritual strength beautiful aquarius yay let's see what this page of pentacles is coming in ten of swords seven of pentacles three of cups yeah wow ten of cups wow after an ending can we water the seeds that we build three of cups reconciliation so yeah heavy apology here apology message we have earth uh taurus virgo capricorn a lot of tens a lot of endings are a lot of new beginnings a lot of new energy a lot of love here we're seeing aces of cups like two of cups two aces so this is mutual this is alignment this is beautiful but then there's the four of cups not being very satisfied with the offer whatever is coming in we'll see what this is about what's the four of cups because this is so left field this is so left field six of swords okay a lot of you are gonna choose to um remember i said you're gonna have a choice to go back to the past or keep on trucking here to independence to whatever a lot of you are gonna be taking the six of swords six of cups page of swords yeah we got the world completion a lot of you are gonna look at this and say i love you i learned my lesson but you know you always have there's always duality you have two. there's not just one way there's always duality so whatever you choose is where you follow your heart you follow your spirit right and the choice is not going to be easy but you are going to be making it from your heart space because you're aligned wow could be dealing with a leo taurus another aquarius or scorpio here but this is beautiful this is beautiful because you still recognize the connection six of cups strong but there is still curiosity of what's out there right there's the world what's out there a lot of you are not ready to settle down because i mean aquarius let's be fair <laughs> 
hard to catch y'all <laughs> um beautiful but two, i love the two sixes here balance and harmony uh and i love the full cups on both ends cross watcher you everyone filling that cup going within let's get some guidance here for my aquarius and I, mean, I should be talking hard. I'm an Aquarius moon, so we're all good here. We good. We good. Yeah, here it is. Beautiful. Someone is um, swift, swift movement towards you. We got the fool with eight of wands here. Fast communication. And there's the choice. What do I do? What do I do? Use your heart. Use your discernment. You know what to do, right? And... um always 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 go within you have the moon and you have the hermit here the answers are within don't get distracted and don't fall into unsatisfied energy because that would make things very difficult right if you're in i'm not satisfied and then you have other options you'll be picking from a low vibration right make sure you're up here when making a decision make sure you're like i said 11 11 well make sure you're looking at all the sides of the coin right beautiful aquarius this is gorgeous thank you so much for sharing your energy if this resonated leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell for personal readings informations down below i love you i appreciate you and i mean this is i i don't know what way you spin it which way you are going but the fact that the cups are full is just saying that this is beautiful and you're already on the right path this is gorgeous so use this love to propel you forward for uh, whatever you venture out i love you i appreciate you namaste